Crankshaft position sensors are devices that operate based on pulse detection and counting. The fundamental components of these sensors include a toothed disc mounted on the shaft, a stationary detector, and electronic circuitry. The rotary disc has teeth or marks distributed evenly around the circumference, and the crankshaft sensor is installed so that the teeth of the trigger wheel are connected to the crankshaft close to the sensor tip. An air gap is placed between the sensor and the cogwheel. This gap should be about 1 mm plus or minus 0.4 mm and is achieved by selecting the appropriate washers. One or more teeth are missing in the cogwheel, which provides the ECM with a reference point, synchronization pulse, for the crankshaft position. The number of teeth on the pulse wheel depends on the particular application. In Motronic systems, which combine fuel injection and ignition control in a single unit, a 60-pitch pulse wheel is normally used, although two teeth are omitted, so the pulse wheel has 60 minus 2 is equal to 58 teeth. When the crankshaft rotates, the sensor generates a series of pulse voltage signals, where each pulse reacts to a tooth on the trigger wheel. The ECM uses signals from the crankshaft position sensor to decide when to generate a spark and which cylinder to fire. The signal is also used to determine if any cylinder is misfiring. In a diesel engine, the sensor operates the fuel injection. Defects in the crankshaft position sensor inevitably lead to engine failure, and the car will not run. The crankshaft position sensor's location varies by ignition system and vehicle type, whether diesel or petrol. In most vehicles, the crankshaft position sensor is near the crankshaft in either the engine cylinder block or transmission housing. It may also be located near the flywheel, camshaft, or harmonic balancer of older models. The crankshaft position sensor eliminates the need for manual distributor timing. The crankshaft position sensor is primarily responsible for the following. The inductive type sensor consists of a permanent magnet and a winding coil. The magnetic flux field of the sensor responds to the sensing teeth. The sensor generates AC voltage when the sensing teeth rotate. This type was extensively used and may still be found on some later vehicles. This type produces an analog voltage signal and requires no external power supply. A magnetic sensor typically has two wires. However, some sensors have three wires, with the third terminal serving as a shielded earth. The Hall Effect crankshaft position sensor consists of a Hall element with a semiconductor. When the magnetic flux to the Hall element changes, the Hall element is activated. It monitors the shaft rotation using the Hall effect. The Hall effect crankshaft position sensor typically has a 3-pin connector, voltage supply, ground, and the output signal. Hall effect sensors generate a digital square wave signal instead of an analog AC signal. The square wave digital signal is visible with the use of a suitable oscilloscope.
When the trigger wheel comes close to the Hall effect sensor, the magnetic lines cut across the sensing semiconductor device, which triggers the small internal transistor. This internal transistor then toggles the reference signal between ground and the reference voltage. Optical sensors are light-activated devices. These sensors utilize a light-emitting diode as their light source and a phototransistor as their triggering component to detect optical marks on the shaft or slots in the disc as they pass the detector. Optical sensors always have a shutter disc with small holes. Optical sensors offer a high degree of accuracy. However, to ensure accurate readings, the optical components and disc must be kept clean. The shutter wheel passes between the LED and the phototransistor, and as this shutter wheel turns, it momentarily breaks the light beam emitted by the LED. The action of breaking the light source triggers the phototransistor, which in turn toggles the reference voltage to ground. Optical sensors also put out a square wave. They need a supply voltage and ground to feed the LED light source and phototransistors, as well as a reference voltage. The newer styled magnetoresistive sensor is yet another derivative of the Hall effect sensor. Magnetoresistive sensors do not ground their reference voltage. They are constructed with two internal sensing pickup devices, one beside the other. When the trigger wheel tooth comes into proximity with the sensor, the MR1 will trigger the base of the transistor, toggling the output signal high 5 volts. A split second later, the MR2 will then toggle the output signal low 0 volts, or ground. This sensor uses the leading and trailing edges of the trigger tooth to output a square wave. The leading tooth edge toggles the sensor high, and the trailing edge toggles it low. The output is a regular square wave. The input signals to a magnetic resistive sensor are converted by the electronic circuits inside the sensor to a digital, on and off, signal. 